Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, at this point, most of you guys should know that the next Dokkan Fest unit that's coming to the global side of the game is the Tech Han. So, in this video, I want to quickly break down all of the details you guys need to know about this release, from her banner, to her animations, to her kit, to help you decide whether you want to spend any of your hard-earned Dragonstones to try and pull her, or instead save those stones for something else in the future. So with that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And before we talk about the banner, we're gonna quickly watch her animations. So jump it over to the Dokkan Wiki here, or rather the uh, Dokkan Twitter page. And I'm gonna full screen this, pause my own music, and enjoy guys. And there you have it. Those are the animations for the uh, tech pan, as well as the uh, banner unit, the side unit, which is the trunks and giru. And uh, as a whole, they're nice animations. One very unique aspect about this unit is that she has three different unit super attacks or partner super attacks, right? Depending on uh, who you have on rotation with her. And they're all basically very similar with like minor variations. Obviously the most unique one is the one with uh, the Goku. Um, and also her active skill looks really cool with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So uh, as a whole, great animations. Um, not the most hype, obviously, because it's Pan, but um, they're good. They're very, very good. So from there, let's uh, jump over to the banner and break that down real quick. So here is what the JP banner looked like. I'm, I'm assuming that the global one will be very similar, if not exactly the same. So these are the featured units. We got the new pan, we got the uh, trunks and giru, the two new units, and then the remaining featured SSRs are the AGL Captain Ginyu, the AGL uh, Transforming Trunks, the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then the Fizz GT Goku, and the Int GT Vegeta. Now as a whole, I think this banner is actually really, really solid. You know, for like a normal Dokkan Fest banner, um, not of course comparing it to like anniversary banners or um, Dual Dokkan Fest or anything like that. It's not on that level, obviously, but for a regular Dokkan Festival banner, I would say it's actually one of the better ones we've seen recently. Um, of course, the two uh, two new units are very, very good, especially the pan. Um, but I would say the main prize outside of the pan would be this AGL Ginyu, who hasn't returned to Global, I think, since his initial release. Um, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time 
he's re uh, returning to global, and he is, no question, one of the best TURs in the game. I think a lot of people would put him in like the top three, or somewhere in that range, because he is just really, really good. So, um, if you guys don't have him, this definitely enhances the value of the banner by quite a bit, because he is just an amazing unit. And uh, the AGL Trunks too is very good. I I would say he's probably like one step below the Ginyu, but still one of the better TURs in the game. And uh, the three GT guys, I mean, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, of course, he's a little bit older now. Um, he's not as impressive as he used to be, but still extremely solid. And uh, same thing with the GT Goku and the GT Vegeta, two of the, you know, still better TURs in the game. So like I said, a really really good banner um if i were to rate it out of 10 i would say it's like a 7.5 maybe even an 8 so um 8 might be a bit generous yeah let's say 7.5 let's say 7.5 so above average for sure for a dual contest banner right so um that is the banner um you know not bad at all and now let's take a look at the pan herself and like I said, she has three different unit super attacks that each have um, different conditions depending on, you know, like which unit you have on rotation with her. And uh, let's start with the leader skill here, which is Spawn Friendship or Dragon Ball Seekers, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% for characters who also belong to the GT Heroes category. Her super attack, uh, the regular one, is raises attack and causes immense damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then her first unit super attack is uh, with Trunks, and it greatly raises attack, causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So you get this if you have Trunks attacking in the same turn. And then with the second unit super attack, it's with Giru, greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And then lastly, we have uh, this um, unit super attack with GT Goku, which greatly raises attack and causes immense damage with a great chance of stunning the enemy. And uh, her passive is attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% when attacking reduces damage received by 50% before attacking. And key plus 2 plus an additional attack plus 50% as the first attacker in a turn plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% up to 100% with each attack performed, launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there is a GT Heroes category ally whose name includes Goku, Trunks, or Giru attacking in the same turn. And then her active skill is uh, Ace in the Hole Kamehameha, which greatly raises the attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage within the turn activated, and attacks become or have a 59% chance of becoming critical hits and can be performed after, sorry, can be activated after performing five or more attacks in a battle if there is a GT Heroes category ally whose name includes Goku attacking in the same turn. Her links are all in the family, say in Lineage, Battlefield Diva, GT, The Innocents, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle, and categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Dragon Ball Seekers, Goku's Family, Youth, Kamehameha, Space Traveling Warriors, GT Heroes, Bond of Friendship, and bond of parent and child. So there you have it. That is the GT Pan. Now, a um, couple of things about her passive. Basically, uh, she is very powerful. I mean, she gets a lot of attack. She gets a good amount of defense. And her... Okay, so one aspect about her that's very unique, actually, is the fact that she is getting this 50% damage reduction before attacking, which basically means that she is the perfect slot one unit, right? I mean, I think when they designed this unit, they kept in mind that a lot of people were complaining that there weren't any, or not a lot of great slot one defenders that, you know, get good defense or get good tanking before they launch an attack. A lot of units in this game, you know, raise defense on their super attack or raise defense, um, you know, when they attack, right? But before they attack, you feel, you know, you're kind of nervous about putting them in the first slot because they could take a lot of damage, but they designed this pan with the express intent of having her be a great slot one unit because she gets that 50% damage reduction before attacking. And then after she attacks, you know, she's getting 
There's an additional 50% attack and defense. Um, she's getting 20% attack and defense with each attack performed, so she's building up quite a bit over the course of the uh, of the fight. And uh, of course, she also has that high chance for an additional, uh, additional super attack if you have one of these three characters on rotation, which you know you're most likely going to, because um, as far as team building goes, I feel like she's going to be a little bit limited, right? She's mainly going to be like a GT themed teamed unit. And uh, if you don't have her on one of those teams, then you're not going to be getting her unit super attack. You're not going to be able to get her, um, you know, her uh, uh, active skill. And you're not going to get this additional attack that has a high chance to be a super. So essentially, I mean, if you want to get the most out of her, you kind of have to run her on a team, at least with some other GT units like a Goku, Iru, or Trunks, right? So... Um, that is one complaint that I've heard a lot, and that's one thing that I will admit to as well, right? I think that she is going to be a little bit limited, but kind of similar to the, uh, the Ginyu, right? I mean, he's still considered one of the best units in the game, even though he is somewhat limited as well by his, by his teams, by his passive. I think that applies to the pan, and I think it is, like, something you should probably consider, should think about as far as, like, whether you want to summon for her and spend stones for her, if you're going to have the pieces to run her effectively, right? Run her team effectively. But if you do, if you have those GT units, then, like I said, man, she is really, really good. So, yeah, that's uh, all I really got to say about Pan. She's very powerful. She does a lot of damage. She is great for slot one tanking. And, uh, I mean, it's, oh, as a whole, as a whole, she's going to have good defense but especially in that first slot before she attacks she'll take you know very little damage and uh she's also very unique as well right like a, just a cool unit to have with these three technically four super attacks technically four super attacks but most of the time you will be wanting to get like one of the unit super attacks as opposed to her regular super attack right so um that's all i gotta say about the pan there she is let's quickly pop over to the trunks and giru Leader skill is bonded friendship, category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers defense, and passive is changes AGL and tech key spheres to int key spheres, attack and defense plus 120%, GT heroes, bonded friendship, and dragon ball seekers, category key plus 1, attack and defense plus 20%, plus an additional uh, attack and defense plus 120% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and all allies attack minus 20% with 5 or more key spheres obtained. And then all allies key plus 2, attack and defense, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% with 7 or more key spheres obtained. So essentially they are, um, you know, one of the better support units in the game for these categories, that's for sure. And you're also getting a ton of attack and defense with them, depending on, of course, how many key spheres you can get. But if you get five key spheres, I mean, that is like 360% attack and defense, which is pretty wild. That's pretty wild. Of course, their stats are not going to be super high, so like, I'm not expecting them to do crazy damage, but they'll do some pretty decent damage and uh, also get some pretty solid defense on top of the support being awesome just a really really good banner unit really good side unit that you would want to run on a team with pan which is obviously the intent with these like main and banner units right so um yeah that is the trunks and giru oh links speedy retribution brainiacs cold judgment solid support gt courage and fierce battle in categories of dragon ball seekers joint forces space traveling warriors gt heroes and bond of friendship so that is the trunks and giru that is the pan, and at this point, I'm hoping that you guys have enough information for yourselves to, you know, decide whether it's worth it for you to summon for this unit or spend stones on this banner. But if you want my recommendation, um, I'm a little bit on the fence. <laughs> I'm a little bit on the fence. On the one hand, the banner solid, the units are really good, but she is limited. So, honestly, I think for the average player, I think for the average free-to-play player, you can probably skip this. <laughs> you can probably get away with skipping this just because of her limitedness 
And the fact that the banner is good, but not amazing. And the fact that we have some pretty big things coming around the corner for global. Namely, we got for this year most likely, um, well, actually definitely Trunks and Vegeta. LR Trunks and Vegeta is just an insane unit. And they're probably dropping sometime in November. And on top of that, we're going to get the Dragon Ball Heroes collab. And if you guys care about those units, I mean, that's going to be pretty big as well. Although, like, you know, they're never the best units in the game. They're always good, but never the best units. So they're not a must summon. But if you care about the Heroes collab, those guys are coming too. We should be getting a Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, who should be pretty sick. So there's that as well. And then we got stuff like LR Fusion Zamasu or Merge Zamasu. We got uh, uh, the Blue Boys, Goku and Vegeta, um, and oh, LR Golden Frieza as well. But the main ones I would say for definitely Trunks and Vegeta, definitely Merge Zamasu, and uh, those guys are coming either you know later this year or early next year, right? So yeah, I think. Um, with all that in mind, I mean, the average person should probably just skip this banner, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But of course, the decision is ultimately up, to, ultimately up to you, right? I want you guys to be able to make this choice for yourselves. But I think it makes sense to probably skip, despite how good she is. So, anyways, with that said, that's how I feel. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. How many stones you plan to spend if you do um, plan to summon, or maybe... You're just gonna skip let me know what your plan is and uh that's it guys that's gonna be a video hopefully it helped you a little bit and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media Signing out.